Assalamu alaikum, Amin here with Sira Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. Bit of a different video this week, as you can see. Uh, we're looking at this hadith of uh, the Prophet, as you can see here, it's in Bukhari and Muslim, and it's taken from the collection of hadith by Imam al Nawawi, the famous 40 hadith of Imam al Nawawi. Okay, um, I want to zoom into this, this hadith because I just found it so, I don't know. It blew my mind a bit, the analogy that the Prophet ﷺ was giving here. And, you know, um, I believe it was Imam Abu Dawood. He said Islam can be summarized in four hadith. And this is one of those hadith. Okay, so let's look into it. You know, we can read the Arabic, but I know you, you probably wouldn't understand it. So I thought, let's just skip that bit. You know, إِنَّ الْحَلَالَ بَيِّنُ وَإِنَّ الْحَرَامَ بَيِّنُ وَبَيْنَهُمَا أُمُورٌ مُشْتَبِهَاتٌ So basically... That which is lawful, that which is halal is clear. And that which is unlawful is clear. And between the two of them are doubtful matters about which many people do not know. Thus, he who avoids doubtful matters and clears himself in regard to his religion and his honor. But he who falls into the doubtful matters eventually falls into that which is haram, that which is unlawful. Like a shepherd who pastures around a sanctuary all but grazing therein. And then a bit of a change of topic. Truly, every sanctuary, a king has a sanctuary. And truly, Allah's sanctuary is his prohibitions. And then goes on to the famous part of the hadith that everyone will know, which is about the heart, the morsel of flesh, that if it's whole, if it's okay, if it's sound, if it's healthy, the whole body is healthy. But if it's diseased, all of the body is diseased, and that is the heart. Okay, so I want to focus on uh, which part is it here? the shepherd part here like shepherd okay this bit pretty much okay because i think it really helps the point sink in so let me go to a quick diagram that i'm going to draw for you here so it says like a shepherd let's just go back quickly um like a shepherd who pastures around a sanctuary all but grazing therein okay so a sanctuary is a place you're not allowed to go Okay, it's a place where the sheep shouldn't be going to, to eat the grass, right? So let me just get some green. And let's say all this area is grass, okay? But then you've got another area inside of it, which is the sanctuary, right? This is the place where the sheep are not allowed to go, okay? So the Prophet ﷺ says, going to the doubtful matters. And let me just add another circle, actually, just here. There we go. A bigger area around it. The Prophet is saying that there is the halal matters, which is here, boom, and this is the haram matters. Okay, or I should do a cross. This is haram matters. Then there are the doubtful matters, which is let's do orange. This area, all this area, which is near the haram, that those are the doubtful matters. Now imagine a sheep. Let me just get rid of that. You've got your sheep. They're grazing over here. Yeah. Yay, it's a sheep with its legs and whatever, yeah? Uh, we got sheep here. It's in the halal, it's fine, right? No dangers there. But now the sheep, eventually it strays into the doubtful matters area, right? It's eating, it's eating the grass, eating grass. Now this sheep, you think it's going, not going to eventually, because it's near it, it finishes all the grass around here. And eventually it goes, boom, there's grass here. I'm going to eat that. So by going this whole area here, by going from there to there, look, it's getting closer and closer until it enters into the haram. The Prophet ﷺ say, this is the example of the person who goes into the area of uh, doubtful matters. It's unclear exactly whether it's halal, whether it's haram. Remember, the clear halal is here, where the tick is, that wider area, which is huge, by the way. That should be the biggest area. And the haram is very clear, which is here. This area here, this area, is the area of doubtful matters. Prophet ﷺ is saying, avoid this area, because those that wander into this area, no doubt, eventually, they're going to fall into this area, into the haram area. Just like a sheep... It's grazing, it's grazing in this doubtful area, okay? Eventually it's going to say, hey, I can't help myself at this point. I'm so close to this sanctuary, this haram area. I'm going to go and eat the grass there, okay? So I just thought 
This is a really, uh, you know, great analogy the Prophet ﷺ used because it's true. The sheep that is grazing right near that area of delicious grass, the sanctuary, it is going to fall into that. Even if it goes into that area and then it goes out back into this doubtful area, then maybe it will go here for a bit. But then it's going to go back. And as long as it's in this area, then it will fall into the haram a few times out of, out of all the time it spends in the, in the doubtful matters area. A few times it's going to fall into the haram. And therefore the Prophet ﷺ is saying, in order to uh, protect your religion and your honor, you stay away from the doubtful matters as much as possible and stay in this halal area, which is 100% clearly halal. As the Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith, Inna al bayin. The halal is absolutely clear. So thanks for uh, listening to this video. Hope you found it useful. Hope you like this new kind of style. I might do more like this. I don't know. It's just the first time I'm trying it out. Uh, thanks for listening and leave a comment below or, you know, your, the insights you got from this video and, you know, share some ideas with me, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.